Good morning, everybody. It's Carpo here. So I, uh, <laughs> I like to get up in the morning and get dressed, get ready, and usually before I, uh, or while I have my coffee, I'll watch the videos in the morning, look at the subscriptions that are on my list. And uh, it's funny because I looked and I actually have a couple hundred subscriptions, but really only about seven or eight active people that post. Um, I really have a small subscription list. I maybe get 15 a day or something. And um, most of those I, you know, I only maybe watch a few. Um, I like to watch the videos from my subs, uh, or from, sorry, from the, was I, those I sub to, but I also like to watch the video from my subs um, that I really like, you know, to see what they're all about. And uh, there's this one guy I sub to, his name's Plant Life, and uh, he's a younger fellow. Uh, I, I don't know how old he said. I think he's like 30 or 32. He doesn't. He's not that young. He just looks young to me. No offense, Plant Life. If you're <laughs> if you're watching this, I, uh, you're, you seem like a really cool guy, and you remind me so much of myself when I was younger and my friends and my group of friends. Um, you know, he plays guitar and uh, uh, got that kind of. Uh, what am I looking for? The bohemian hippie type look, whatever you want to call it, you know. I don't put a label on it because I'm one of those guys. And uh, it really gets me thinking, you know, if you would come visit me when I was, say, six, between, you know, 16 and 18, come into my bedroom, all I'd have out there was Grateful Dead posters, tie dyes, and incense, and crystals everywhere, and, and really nice, cool wood stuff. And I was into that, I don't know. The guru type stuff I was very interested in, and uh, and the meditational uh, tools. Um, so anyway, the video he had this morning was talking about how, for the first time, he turned somebody down who was uh, asking him to buy him something. I, I missed the part. I I think he was trying to buy a blunt wrap or something like that. But he said for the first time he told the kid no, and the kid gave him a dirty look. And and I thought about this because you know when I was younger, when I was in this. This, uh, I'm not comparing myself here by any means to him. His situation is totally different. But it just reminded me when I was younger and I used to buy stuff, you know, for uh, friends and maybe I never bought beer for kids and I never bought, you know, and I never sold weed to kids or bought kids cigarettes especially. But there was a time when I was, say, 18, 19 where I would buy for this 17, 18, 16, 17 year olds that were my friends, if there were any. And, uh, there's a point in your life where you tell a kid no, or you tell somebody no, and they're asking you to do something that the alternative community, or the hippie community, if you will, um, it's something that people just do for each other. It's like we, we help each other out. And you get to a certain age where you're like, all right, I'm not going to risk this, I'm not going to take my chance, and, you know, kind of like he said, if you, can't, if you can't take care of your habit, it's a bad habit, if you can't figure it out on your own. So, you know, shoulder tapping is one of those things, but... Uh, <laughs> The one thing that really got me, and I guess what inspired me to make this video, is he said he was walking down the street and some guy yelled to him from across the street. And he just went on walking. And he said, I hate it when people yell, hey, or hey, you. And I just, it just cracked me up because it reminded me of so many situations in my life where I was younger and somebody called me and said, hey, come here. And I went there and to see what they want. Um, over the years, I, I became very stubborn to that, uh, and it all led up to last week when I was working on the side of my house, out, kind of out in the front on the side. It was about, I don't know, 6, 75 feet away from the road. Sometimes people pull up and they want to buy my Honda that's in the driveway because it hasn't been driving in a while. It's like every week somebody comes and wants to buy that Honda. So a car pulls up, and the passenger side is facing me. But they're, they pull up on the road. Instead of getting out, asking me a question, the guy rolls down the passenger window, yells across his wife, Hey! And my first instinct was to turn, say what? And I just stood there. He didn't know what to do. You know, I'm like 75 feet away from him, and I'm just like, what? And uh, he, he, he didn't know what to say. He's like... He just yells, hey, are you looking to sell that Honda? Like, no. Like, what about the van? No. And I can tell he wanted to have a conversation about it. You know, he tried to talk me into selling it or whatever. But he was too fucking stubborn to get out of his own car. It was a really nice Mercedes. 
you know. And I try not to judge people on their car, but, you know, if people drive a really nice car, they want to be judged by their car. So my thought was that here's a guy who goes and buys cars from people really cheap and resells them, you know. Um, a lot of people are doing that, but the way that the guy went about it, and it was a combination of who he was, who he appeared to be anyway, which was my judgment, I admit that, and the way he went about talking to me. You know, I wouldn't care if he was... Well, I'll be honest, if a Volkswagen bus pulled up with a bunch of hippies in it, and they're like, hey man, come here, I'd walk over there. Why? Because I know that they're probably people who think similar to the way I do. And uh, I don't like to put that hippie label on stuff. <coughs> but, uh, you know, because hippies were a 60s thing. 60s thing. But at, I'm 38. When I grew up in the, in the 90s, in the early to mid-90s, there was a major revolution in uh, a resurgence of that, you know, alternative hippie trend. I mean, tie-dyes were everywhere. And, uh, you know, I was, I'd go to school with, these tie-dyes, Birkenstocks, and my hair braided, and two long braids, and, you know, I was just, even being that person, the total loving, caring, I guess, tolerant person, smoking weed, hanging out with my friends, I never took shit from people. It's like there's always this one part of me that just says, you got an issue? That's your fucking problem, you know? And I've gone through phases where I've tried to like say, okay, maybe I should uh, just accept everything and everyone for who they are and the way they are. And um, uh, but that's just not the way it is. Um, I accept people for who they are, but it doesn't mean that I have to associate with them. Um, but no matter how peaceful I'm feeling, no matter how laid back and stoned and hanging out with my friends I am, the minute somebody steps up and tries to front on who we are, or tries to uh, disrespect, I guess. I have no problem um, speaking up. I guess the reason I use those examples of buying the kids stuff and uh, people yelling at you is because there are a lot of folks that don't want to be looked upon as, uh, I don't know, oh, there's that asshole who wouldn't buy me the cigarettes. or. Um, you know, here's this jerk who, who pipes back and, and, and can't even take a joke, or I don't know. There's a lot of different reasons people don't want to voice their true opinions. <coughs> but I think it's really important. I do. And uh, <coughs> that story just cracked me up, you know, about the guy yelling. Because I mean, I'm sure everybody's had an experience where somebody said, Hey, come here, and you went over, you know. And it's like, who is this person to direct me, you know? I don't know this person. You can't just call me over, you know? I wouldn't do that to somebody, I guess. I just never really considered it. I, if I saw somebody I wanted to talk to, I would never yell from them across the street and say, Hey, come here! I mean, that shows a certain superiority that you'd have to carry with you, but... Anyway, just some thoughts on that. It was a kind of a funny little story and reminded me a lot of some of my own stories. <laughs> the hardcore hippie. <laughs> Peace out.